Hey you guys, I'm back with another Pinky Car reading. Tonight I'm gonna be doing, do they regret what they did to you? Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. If you would like a personal reading, the information for that as well as the timestamps will be in the description box. If something resonates, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for the energy exchange. I have four crystals for you to choose from tonight. One, two, three, or four. Go ahead and choose whichever one your intuition is drawing you near. I'll give you a minute to meditate on that. Alright, if you guys need another minute, go ahead and pause the video. We're going to get started. If you chose this crystal. If you know what it is, go ahead and then comment below. I would love to know myself. So yeah, we're going to get started. Put that right there. And you kept thinking about the rest what they did to them. And we have some jumpers, so we'll take this. This person regret what they did to my power one year ago. Okay, power one. Absolutely. This person does regret with it, whatever they did to you. Um, we got some Capricorn energy, maybe a Scorpio. We could be dealing with Earth signs towards Virgo Capricorn, or some. I'm feeling some fire, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Somebody can have some water in their charts in this pile. I feel like this person, there was something that, like something toxic in their life. Or this could be a drug or alcohol problem. It could be um, a karmic relationship they're dealing with. There's something in their life that, that they couldn't make a decision about regarding you and this other thing. This other thing is not good for them. And I feel like they chose that other thing. Well, they did because you wouldn't be here. Um, they could have put up a front or be putting up a front. Maybe the, I don't think that they're financially as well off as they want people to think they, as they lead on, you know. This person looks like they got a little bit of, um, money or maybe they have a good career so you would think they would but 
I feel like they're, I'm hearing they're drowning in debt for somebody. Yeah, this person definitely wants to create something stable with you. They're ready to, um, to stop all the fighting. And, or it may be not even necessarily fighting. I, I feel like somebody here, you're not even in communication. This person wants to make up with you and come back together. I feel like in the past they've been manipulative. Um, you know, they're really upset about what they did to you. And I feel like this was a loss that I don't even really think that they knew that it was going to be this bad of a loss. But they're holding on to, um, yeah, they don't want to let you go. They're holding on to you. And I don't, I think that they're still in the same energy. Like they're not changing, but they know that they have to. So yes, absolutely pal one. They do regret um, what they did to you. I'm about to see if I can do this. All right, so let's pull the pendulum out. All right, spirit. Does how one's person regret what they did to them? Yes. Yes, they do. Okay. Um, will Pow one's person come back with an apology? If they haven't already. person who come back with an apology no <laughs> so this person is probably a little prideful a little yeah they um they know they did something wrong they're still in this devilish energy this toxic manipulative um controlling issues they're leading with their ego i feel like macho real macho i'm feeling real toxic masculinity in this pile for this person they know that they don't want they want to build something with you they want a new start with you but there's so much ego here there's so much I love a scar in reverse. This could be a soulmate. Someone here might have um, locks or long hair. Somebody can have a um, tattoo on their right shoulder blade. Or not, or, or their right shoulder. Somebody can have a beard, brown skinned man. Maybe a light skinned, thin, tall man. Someone can have a birthmark or a face tattoo, a mole under their eye, their left eye. Yeah, this person is out of balance and they do regret what they did to you. Um, but they're just not going to apologize for it. They're too prideful. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, I hope that resonated with you. If it did, please like, comment, share, subscribe for the energy exchange. I would like to thank your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides as well as mine. 
with that being said, we are off to how to. He chose this crystal. What we all do. This is your reading. Ancestors and spirit guides. For my people who chose the second pile. Is the person they're thinking about, do they regret what they did to me? This person does regret um, what they did to you. I feel like you walked away from this person and I feel like you walked away suddenly. I feel like when this person is all confused and tied up in their head about what they you know, wanted to do in regards to you, something happened in this connection and you walked away. That caused them to, I feel like they watch your social media page. This could be a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. Um, They just had a lot going on. I feel like it was a strong fire sign. Um, you might be a... You could be a... Um, air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Maybe a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. But something happened here with this person. And you were like, I'm out. I feel like this person... Um, I feel like you reflect, there's some type of healing that you give this person. We have the Magician card here, it's, um, but it's in reverse. But I feel like whatever it is, this person is like, they look at you and they're reminded of all they can be. You remind them of, you remind them of themselves. 
or vice versa but I feel like you um, when this this person is a little jealous of you there's a little bit of jealousy or maybe jealous jealousy is not the right word but I feel like There's something about you that's so magical and so um, magnetic. Um, there could have been pe a person or a group of people in this person's ear talking about you and they left you based off of what other people said. I feel like they were seeking harmony. They didn't know what to do. Um, and when you left, they realized how much they fucked up. How bad of a decision it was. So, for my pal, um, to does this person regret what they did to my pal, to? Yes, they do. Now, will Pow 2's person come in? If if Pow 2's person has not already apologized sincerely, will they come in with a sincere apology? Yes. I feel like there's something else the spirit wants to know. Does Pow 2's person know they're the one? Yes, they do. I think they're coming to their they're they're starting to realize that themselves. All right, so I hope that resonated with someone. If it did, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, I'm, gonna think, I'm sorry, that was my son. He <laughs> get back in the room, boy. Don't smile at me. Um, thank you. I want to thank your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides for delivering those messages. I would like to thank mine as well. Uh, if anything resonated, please like, comment, share, subscribe for the energy exchange. And we are off to Pi 3. So we chose this, Christy. Give me a second. Let me put my baby back in the room. And we're going to get this thing started. Sorry about that, you guys. So he chose this crystal. This is your reading. Person regret what they did to my father. This person regret what they did to Pauly.
Okay, pile three. Yes, absolutely. Your person does um, regret what they did to you. You could have a child with this person. You could want kids with this person also. You might have two children with this person, a girl and a boy. Not going to apply to everybody. This person could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like strong Pisces, um, Scorpio, Cancer in this pile. Sean Paul and Sasha. Come sing to them, baby. But, you know, it don't, your sign doesn't have to be here. That's just, you know, I'm just pointing out some signs, some Virgo here. I stand in love. This pile could be smokers. Somebody here could be a cancer or have strong um, cancer in their chart. LGBT community in here. Someone always wears head wraps. I feel like somebody here was um, really romantic, affectionate, wearing their heart on their sleeve, um, motherly almost. This is a spiritual connection, I feel like. This is a soulmate twin flame connection, and this person was not awake to it at first. One of you guys were just madly in love with the other one, and the other one wasn't really receptive of that. And I feel like this person is isolating themselves, and they're starting to realize their flaws. Um, so you probably haven't spoken to this person. They do regret what they did to you because they're realizing that you're the one for them, that you are everything that they've ever envisioned. You have the high priestess here, the empress, the ten of cups. The Four of Wands. These are like the Empress. Like, who doesn't fucking want? You want to embody that energy. The ultimate feminine energy is the Empress. And we have the High Priest. Is very spiritual. Some of you could be psychics, um, tarot card readers. You're just very intuitive. Somebody here might be really religious. This person could also be a player, or you know, they were in the past. What 
So you're gonna get communication from this person really soon, I feel like. They're gonna come in with some type of offer. It could be via email, text message. There's something significant about like a white balcony or a white um, maybe table or something in someone's house. That's significant for someone here. Someone has, was recently talking about the Northern Lights or wanting to go see the Northern Lights or you're just obsessed with the Northern Lights. Yeah, this person sees that you're the one for them and they feel like they fucked up and they're gone inside. They are just taking a break, going within to just figure out how, how to um, make things right. This person could have anger issues. They might be a little bit immature, arrogant. Um, this could be like your best friend. Let's see. Spirit, talk to me. For my power three, what you gotta say? Do this person regret how they? Does this person regret how they treated my power three? Yes. Absolutely, yes. Spirit. Is power three, is this the person that they're supposed to marry? Yes. I feel like y'all are slowly coming to that conclusion about one another if both of you are not there already. Okay, spirit. Is how three person going to offer them a sincere apology if they haven't already? I feel like somebody here wants to ask me, has Power Three's person cheated on them? <laughs> has Power Three, this is not gonna apply to everybody, so if you ain't had this question in mind, skip over this shit. <laughs> has Power Three's person cheated on them? I don't know if I wanna know that for y'all. They asking me to rephrase it, okay. What, how do you want me to say that, Spirit? Oh, um, have they... Nah, I ain't even gonna do that to y'all. Me not, I don't know. I don't know. Spirit don't know either. <laughs> so yeah, I hope that resonated with somebody. If it did, please like. Also, I'm sorry, like, comment, share, subscribe for the end of the exchange. But somebody here is wearing some chucks or... You have a favorite pair of chucks or something like that. They just told me to point that out. So, and also horseback ride. Somebody likes to horseback ride or wants to or whatever on the beach. I'm here. So yeah, yeah. Um, thank you guys. I hope you have a good uh, evening. I'm sending love and light, and we are off to the fourth pile. So if you chose this crystal. This is your reading. Angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. For my people who chose the fourth time, does that person regret what they did to them?
coolest personal regret that they did to me. Could be a Taurus involved, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, could be a Virgo here. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Give me one second, five, four. I feel like Power 4, I want to say no, they don't regret it because I feel like they did it out of a place of fear. Um, I'm re This could be, the energy could be reversed in this situation. I feel like somebody here was too good for the other person or the other person felt that way anyway. Like you're very spiritual. Someone here is just like very spiritual. They are divinely guided. They have all this wisdom and knowledge and love. Um, understanding patience they had some type of rebirth you may be um trying to you know trying to find your career what your niche is right now i feel like this person that worried them you are so magnificent you are so wonderful you are so abundant you are so um wanted by lots of people i feel like i feel like there's a lot of competition around or this person feels like that anyway this person was afraid to commit to you so they ran it may be i think this person might have ghosted you let's clarify this term um they don't regret it because they're still scared they're like i feel like they know what they did was wrong but let's clarify this term Yeah. Somebody here was taken. This person was probably taken a lot from you. It's a one way relationship. They probably didn't have anything to offer you. Um, they don't regret it only because they feel like you're better off without them. They feel like you, they did you a favor by walking out their lives. And they might have. Even if they just hurt you a little bit, whatever. If they stole money, let's say they stole $25 from you. If it only costs $25 to get this motherfucker out your life, then. Farewell, motherfucker. See what I'm saying? Whatever it was, you were just like too much. They couldn't contain your power. They couldn't stand next to you and feel secure. Let's clarify this nine of swords. What's this nine of swords about? This person was probably cold. Um rude mean 
somebody i feel like for some they probably were dealing with addiction um real stagnant energy not going anywhere in life at the same place you may have a ch chest tattoo excuse me you found out things about this person or this person um had an aha moment like they're like damn they finally realized that this person is they realized everything that you are this eight of pentacles i feel like you are just so you have so many gifts and abilities and talents and this person can't hold a candle to you. I think that's the analogy or the, the same. Yeah. So they they self-sabotaged. Yeah. It wasn't personal, powerful. Whatever they did to you, I don't know if this was a friend, a relationship, or whatever. But whatever they did to you, it was because you are too um, great for them. or they So they feel that. And I hear somebody saying, oh, no, that's not, okay, fuck that. Don't, don't burn your light out for this motherfucker because they're clearly a coward and some more shit. So, spirit, does power force person regret what they did to them, spirit? What the fuck I say? Oh, I'm a motherfucking beast. This motherfucker. The spirit is saying no <laughs> they don't regret it okay and i'm not swaying this thing my way so spirit does powers for a person feel inadequate to my power for do they feel inadequate to power for Yes. Should power four reach out to this person or should okay first should power four move on from this person? Power force person or whoever they're thinking about will power force person eventually No, I can't say that. Um Did power force person steal that money from them for somebody specific? Yes, they did. Somebody here wanted to know if this person stole some money from them. That's probably why I came up with that $25 analogy and I was feeling like that too. So yeah, that person did. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. So I hope that resonated. If it did, please like, comment, share, subscribe for the energy exchange. I would like to thank your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, as well as mine for coming through and uh, delivering those messages. I'm going to um, listen to this song or let this song play out and then um, cut this motherfucker off. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful evening.
Nobody that don't take a shit money. Come on, baby, my shit, no more. Nobody, she never might be more.